Alright uh, YouTube, how's it going? Buster here with his uh, <coughs> weekly seven video. I know I keep saying I'm going to do one about the the Aria Pro 2 IGB SPT. I tell you all about that, but usual, I end up getting myself another base. So, story behind this is I had a Telecaster kit guitar uh, that I got. Swap for a PV, I've got a video on the, P, the PV uh, BXP milestone. I swapped that and then I'm getting an Ashton amp and a Telecaster kit. Telecaster, then a couple of weeks later, I, I ended up getting the Telecaster that I wanted, uh, which is this one. I've only wanted one this color, so because I got this now, kept the amp. I put the uh, kit guitar up for sale or swap. <clears throat> it was up for ages. I was getting offered money for it, but I didn't really want the money or need the money. Uh, I just wanted to swap for a base. So happened to uh, get a message off a guy. Kind of what date was? I'm going to say it was Wednesday night. And I was down working in Cramlington, just outside Newcastle. So I said to the boy, obviously I'm up road Thursday night if you want to come. So he came Thursday night, swapped us. Uh, when I got it, he only had two black uh, knobs on it. <coughs> but I put gold ones on it, as you can see. Uh, gold knobs on it, because it's got a brass nut. Uh, five string. When I first seen it, I thought it was a Tanglewood Rebel 5K. But I'm starting to think now it may be uh, West, Westfield do a guitar exactly the same as the Rebel 5K and the 4K. But I think they're made in the same factory. I think because they're exactly the same guitar. Exactly the same. The only difference is one says Tanglewood Rebel. 4k or 5k here and on the touch rod cover and the Westfield one just is Westfield here exact same shape everything same pickups the only difference is that I seen this is what's make me think this might be a tango is the bridge uh, normally the Westfields have just got the normal uh, tube bridge uh, adjustable saddles, but it's just a cylinder. This has got quite fancy ones. And I've seen an early Rebel 5K with this exact same bridge. So unless they've changed the bridge over, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's Tanglewood. And I don't really care to be honest with you. Uh, it's made out of plywood. Uh, that's kind of what's making me think it might be a Westfield. That's made out of plywood, not solidwood. But then again, if Rebel's a kind of cheaper Tanglewood, then it could have been made by this as well. But this is made out of, uh, this is maple, maple mahogany layered. So, it's just like your normal plywood, your marine ply, except obviously bigger, bigger veneers glued together. But this is uh, maple mahogany. So, yeah, I'll let you see that a wee bit. And, uh, man, I'll do a wee quick video of the day. So... because I swapped for what I swapped before. Uh, I wouldn't this is more base that I would go out, I'd go out and buy. Don't know what it is, but when I'm 
it's just before I'm doing the videos, I'm sitting, I'm playing away quite the thing, slapping and popping and fingers and just the minute I'm front of this camera, it just goes to pot. <coughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, so I'm just playing this through my B, my, my BH250, through my uh, 4 by 12 And this is the uh, tunes. B, B, A, D, G. So, but I'm thinking, I've got a five string already. So what I'm thinking of doing with this is, let's keep my other five string as, uh, as tuned uh, B, A, D, B, B, E, A, D, G. Uh, and then I'm going to maybe get some other strings for this and have it so it's E, A, D, G, C. So it's done the other way. That's just got a different sound. Uh, I think we're doing something with the body as well, rather than just leave it maple. But it looks it looks nice until you look at the sides, and you can see that it's uh, it's plywood. Yeah, just normal five string strings for both guitars. But when I got it, it was uh, the action you done was quite high action. I don't think the boy was really a bass player. I mean, like he just learned guitar, I think. So the action was quite high. I've got the action low is what I always have it. Uh, done the intonation. In, intonation. You can never say that word with intonation. Uh, that's alright, but obviously I'm going to have to do it again. Once you get new strings, because I don't know how what gauge these strings are. Uh, they could be uh, one, 130s. Uh, 130s by 45s, or they could be 125s by 35s, or I don't know. So we just need to re set it up once to get new strings. I'll stick a uh, on this. I'll not be putting I will be putting a uh, local sound in this because I'm more a big uh, five string bass player. Prefer four string. You can see the kind of the resemblances of the shapes. These are kind of uh, this kind of shape came out in the, maybe the, the kind of late nineties. When they kind of came away for the P bass and jazz bass shape, and they were kind of doing so, a, a lot of guitar companies took this shape on. Uh, that's that brown guitar in the background. You can see that's just a, a generic bass that I, I picked up a, a years ago. Uh, the body was all damaged. I made a new body for it. Uh, the one next to it's a washed bone that I got off of Mad Malco. Uh, the fret. From about <clears throat> probably the from the 14, 15 fret down, the board's actually sitting by a ski slope. Because I've put the screws in, just put it in and it's pushed the fret board up. So I'm going to do that and then I've got a starfire that I'm looking for a new neck for. And the neck the next nagger on it. But I actually bought that just for the pickup for my Billy Sheen. That's what I bought that for. So that's just a if I get a neck for that, I get a neck. If I don't, I don't. <clears throat> but definitely next week what I'll do is I'll uh, definitely if I don't get a guitar in between now and next week I'll, uh, I'll definitely do it in the Aria Pro IGD SPT that I've got I bought it for doing the kind of Metallica stuff but I've recently found out he used a, an Aria Pro 2 a CB1000 series that isn't it's, it's, black, it's all black but it's from the same kind of era but it is a signature it is a signature bass that I found out so I'll get more information on that Aria Pro 2 and I'll do that next week if I'll get who, who's it. I've never heard of him. I don't know who it is. I'm just looking for more information on it because it's not a 
it's not a uh, model or base you get here. Uh, the closest you get to that, the IGB, uh, I'll show you, I'll just show you that actually. Uh, the closest you get to that here is uh, the Integra. The Integra base is the closest you'll get here. Uh, don't know if it's a Japanese model or not. Uh, hard to say. Doesn't say made in Japan or not. But it is in the, the Japanese catalog. Uh, it's an unusual. It says IGB SPT. <clears throat> and the closest one I've seen from Korea in the Korean magazine is the Integra. It says Integra across there. But this, this isn't an Integra. <clears throat> uh, it's got a it's got a shaped body which the Integra hasn't got, the, the Integra is the same, the, I think it's the same thickness all the way through, this has actually got a, an arch top, or a calf top if you want to call it, uh, someone had put the jack plug at the back, I put it back to where it should be, uh, somebody gave it the old snake bite, <coughs> which is these screws at the back here, these are different lengths because of the shape of it. Because of the shape of the, the neck, where the neck was in. And it happens quite a bit. <clears throat> so what happens is when they take the, ne the neck off for some reason, they shimmer or whatever they're doing with it. They put the screws in back to front. So they put long screws at the bottom and then short screws at the top. And they end up piercing through here. Giving you the old snake bite. And that's what's happened to that one. That washbone. Except rather than the screws coming through the screws had lifted the fretboard and started to lift it off the neck so this is a nice guitar I, I swapped this for for a vintage jazz bass I didn't need another jazz bass I got the 70s style one that I wanted jazz bass is a jazz bass in my it's nice to have a couple but the only time I would probably have maybe a couple of jazz basses is if they were proper fenders but they're not proper fenders, they'll do. So they sound the same. So that's the this is the one I'm gonna do a, a more in-depth video next week. So I make this short this week because uh, it's all firm today, Glasgow uh, Glasgow Rangers and Glasgow Celtic are playing today and it's about time for the game to be you'll finish the half time and it's gonna get mental. I've got nieces and nephews here that are running in at the house because they're out playing and I won't get a chance to do the video later so I'll squeeze it in just now so this will be next week's video I'll get the exact I'll get the exact specs and I'll tell you whose signature bass it is because it is a signature bass uh, but I just don't know what it is but I bought it because it looks more like it's kind of close to uh, Cliff Burton's probably the closest I'm going to get to a Cliff Burton style guitar so I'll leave it there because it says the kids are coming running in and out and we'll get a chance to do it later so stay safe hopefully we're out of this lockdown crap soon I heard it's the end of April I think going back to the tier system hopefully so stay safe uh, I'll see you next week I'll do so it says a more in-depth Aria Pro 2 video and I'll talk to you there about the effects that I've got down here that I use for doing Metallica stuff. So stay safe guys, eh, carry on. <laughs>